everybody. Hola. We are heading east. We haven't filmed for a couple weeks. I mean, here and there we have uh, just been kind of relaxing, enjoying what we're doing with our friends and saying our goodbyes to a bunch of people here in Arizona. And we're heading to Tucson right now. Not a whole lot to see uh, right at this moment, but hopefully we'll find something good to show you guys. So enjoy the ride to Tucson. We'll see you there. Desert. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small Well, we just made a stop. We're here at the Dateland Travel Center. And Aja and I are going to walk over there, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Scotty's going to stay here at the truck and take Moo Moo for a walk. So let's go in and see what kind of trouble we can get into in there. Sorry. Talk about grass under your feet. Oh my God, they mess, match our grass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they even have the little brown in them. That's so cute. Oh. Well, those do not look uh, very good. Everywhere you go, there's a Route 66 uh, hats and shirts. Oh, well, that's like the world's tiniest bottle of wine. Yep. Look at that. Oh, it's a corkscrew. Cute. You got your sticker? Yes. Yeah, really cute little store. We're on our way to... What is the little town we're on our way to? Aja, what's the town we're on our way to? Gilla... Uh, Gilla Bend. Gilla Bend. <laughs> Hug me. <laughs> a fun cowboy hat. Ew, not my favorite thing at all. Ew. But last year I wouldn't even have been able to pick something like that up, so getting better at it. Ooh. Pretty. What do you think the chances are that you can uh, grow one of those if you take it back to your home state? I don't think it would like Washington. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what that says about the people here. <laughs> well, that was a nice little store in there. It's got... A convenience store like you saw and then the gifts and then they've got the date shake place lots of ice cream and a little pizza place pizza hut oh i yeah. stayed over here in safe zone yeah. <laughs> away from that so all that we're gonna get on the road we've got what 40 more miles to go 49 until I we think. get yeah. to gila gila g is it g-i-l-a gila gila something <laughs> gila i'm just happy right. to be back on the road traveling somewhere yeah Feels good. We Absolutely. were. It was getting a little stale where we were. And it just dawned on me that it was three months we've been in Arizona. Yeah, we've been here a long time. Yeah, so I it's didn't... good to get on the road, start heading east, and get to Texas. Again. Again. So, all right, we're going to get on the road here in just a minute, and then we'll see you guys at the next stop. They are. Thousands of them. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's some solar. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Lots. Here, we'll 
then you're they're all kind of turned away from the sun right now. They're all turned that way, away from the sun. Because I can see the shadow of the sun's behind us. Or maybe that's the angle they have to hit them at. That's a big super plant. Everybody, we just stopped at Gila Bend. Hopefully I pronounced it right. And it's the home of 1,917 people and five grumpy old crabs. They even give you the name of the grumpy yeah. old crabs. And of course one Scott. <laughs> that is probably the best welcome sign we've seen yet on our travels. And that place that we just uh, passed was a solar pa uh, place. It says where solar panels outnumber people. <laughs> and there was a lot. And we're going up in elevation too because weren't we just at like 120 feet? And you could tell we were going up. So now we're at a whole 737. Yeah, elevation isn't cold. bothering us here. No, no. <laughs> I can live with this. Wow, they even have one of the largest cactus I've seen. Look at that thing, it's huge. So when you come down from that sign up there where we were just at, that's a really cute sign by the way, good photo opportunity there if you're coming into Gila Bend. And we just pulled down here to the Chevron. They do have a free uh, dump out. Not sure if it's part of the uh, gas station or not. It may be part of the little town's um, thing. But they also have propane here. Not sure what the price is, but you can get propane. And across the road here, uh, there is a visitor information center. So that's a good place to know about. And uh, we haven't checked out the town, but we're gonna go cruise through and see what's down there. So we'll take you guys with us. Park. It's on the main stretch of Gila Bend. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Gila? It's gonna be Gila. close enough. Gila, Gila. Yep. We never can pronounce these names. We go through too many towns, too many states. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't moved fast enough. No. So anyways, we're at a park here in uh, town and they have a um, big piece of metal that came from the 9-11 um, Tragedy. Disaster. Tragedy. Yeah. And uh, so we're just going to walk over. I've never seen a piece of it, touched a piece of anything. And uh, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to show you the, the piece of metal. And uh, It's very sad, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've weird. never been anywhere near anything that was from 9-11. And there were, we had a um, piece that they had brought into Bremerton at one point and we did not go down there. I don't think we were home at the time, but it just um makes and it you seemed cry. Awfully, <laughs> yeah, it seemed awfully quick too after I mean granted it was probably a few years or whatever, yeah. but just seemed kind of different. So I don't know if you've never um, experienced what we're gonna, you know, go experience it's it's a piece of metal but there's just so much um, tragedy involved with that, you know, and it just it's uh still to this day to all of us and I know everybody who watches it, it's just it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking what people are still going through because of that yeah so, and I think they have it out here in the middle of nowhere land yeah. um, I know that the piece that was in our town it was a traveling piece um, that they were tra it was traveling so this may be I don't know uh, if it is or not we'll go and find out if, if it's a 
stationary uh, memorial or if it's one that's traveling around I'm not real sure so anyways you guys can go over there and see it with us Let's check it out <laughs>